Skyline, Al-Qaeda's on the path to defeat, and Osama bin Laden is dead. Al-Qaeda's on the path to defeat, and Osama bin Laden is dead. Al-Qaeda has been decimated, Osama bin Laden is dead. Did he give the full picture to the American people in the campaign about the threat from Al-Qaeda when that was his talking point again and again? Uh, I think it's uh, indisputable that the elimination of Osama bin Laden was uh, a major accomplishment in the effort against al-Qaeda. We have been clear, and the President has been clear, that the threat from al-Qaeda very much remains. Well, today, uh, the Press Secretary, Jay Carney, was pressed a number of different times, a number of different ways about all of the statements on the campaign trail and before that about al-Qaeda and the status of al-Qaeda being decimated. He tried to draw a line between core al-Qaeda and the different branches of al-Qaeda, as we talked about with the previous panel. We're back with our panel. Uh, Charles. Look, a, a perennial problem that a superpower has, you want to be loved or respected. Obama has always had what I think is a naive idea, that he wants America to be loved. He made a tour of the, the Muslim world. Early on, we're going to respect you, a new relationship, an open hand to Iran, a reset with Russia. This is the idea that America somehow by being nice will be treated well. This is the fruits of being in Benghazi, having our ambassador attack, and nothing happening to the bad guys. It's a result of Russia. We warned about Snowden. There'll be consequences. Russia holds him. There are none. Threatening Iran, saying, you know, they'll be, you'll be held accountable. And then on Syria, the president of Syria has to go, and he'll be held accountable if weapons of mass destruction are used. There is no sense anywhere in the world that if you kill a U.S. ambassador, you attack an embassy, you, do, you go against America's interest, you ignore it, and you, you stick a finger in its eye that anything will happen to you. And I think they have a sense now they can, I'm talking about al-Qaeda and the terrorists, they can spread and grow wherever they strike. They will be relatively unmolested. And the fact that Obama talks about ending a war as if he can declare it ended rather than winning the war is an intricate element of that. Pearson. 